Alrighty boys, the SCP Roleplay update has just dropped, and this update features changes to the Chaos Insurgency, Mobile Task Force, the Foundation, SCPs, and more. In this video, I'll go over the main changes from my live stream and also my own footage. So anyways boys, not talking, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's start off with the Chaos Insurgency. But the Chaos Insurgency now have two new hacks. They also have a new objective they can do, and also they increase the team size of the Chaos Insurgency. Now the two new hacks are SCP-002 and SCP-457. Let me go over SCP-002 first. First off, as a Chaos Insurgency, you need to make your way to SCP-002, then hack the device over here, and then defend it from the Foundation. If you are successful, the entire site will rumble as if there's an earthquake or a nuke, and then these SCP-002 entities will appear. And let me tell you, they are literally the most annoying thing ever. How many people are there? There's still a bunch of MTFs and so many Klaus Ds. Oh, I saw them! Open that door! Alright. Oh! Yeah, this guy was in here! I shot someone that's friendly! I shot a friendly! The Siege of 002. We out here. This guy's chill. Oh! It's gonna get hacked! It's gonna get hacked! Look at that. It's gonna get hacked. They have no time. Everything is all right. Look at this. There's an earthquake happening right now. That's 002. The 002 has been breached, bro. The server's gonna be in ruins. They should add 939, chat. They should add 939. Oh, it's right there! Bro, the SCP-002 is right there. So it's getting eaten and everything. Oh, hell no, bro. We might need another nuke. We might need another nuke. I think a nuke can recontain 002 or something. The, the 002 is right there. Bro, everyone's dying left and right. Including myself, by the way. Bro, dude, you can't escape this thing. Nah, this whole server is cooked, chat. So yeah, that's SCP-002. A lot of chaos. From my experience, the only way to recontain these SCPs is to nuke the site. Unless there's another way, which if you guys know any, please let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, let's move on to the SCP-457 hack. So the SCP-457 is actually located in its containment, and this hack will change how the sprinklers work. Instead of water coming up, fire will come out instead. This will make it so SCP-457 won't be contained that easily, which I think is pretty cool. Now let's go to the helipad and talk about the chaos concerns they capture. If you ever manage to get an SCP to the helipad, there will be an event where you have to wait for a helicopter to arrive. After you held up in the area for some time, the SCP will then be captured, which then you'll gain some XP and some credits as your reward. And also I'm pretty sure the SCP will be labeled as missing. Ah, there we go. Let's go 096 to helipad. Guys, we're gonna bring 096 to helipad. Remember, once you look at this guy's face, you gotta run to the helipad. This guy's gonna be chasing after you. <clears throat> um, game, can we uh, op open this, uh, this, this thingy here? Bro, okay, you know what? Let me try this. Go to sector 3, right? Huh? Oh! Okay, I teleported everyone here. I teleported everyone here. Okay, let's go 06, 096. Let's go 096. I'm gonna look at his face and do this thing to him, bro. I gotta taunt him a bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, open his door. But let's just run here, chat. We're just gonna run here. We can break 0492. Did you just collab 096? Yes, I did. He's not gonna do anything about it. Control be under attack. We're running to the helipad. We're running to this helipad. Oh, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Wait. Go to control room. Oh, I brought everyone here. Where's the 096? Where's the 096? Oh, he's right there! I see him! The 096! Yo, come to the helipad, chat! Come to the- Someone said, uh, view SCP. Bro, I'm viewing the SCP. Go to the helipad, chat! Go to the helipad! He's standing up again! It's Marco! Yo, go to the helipad! Oh my god, this guy got back! Dude, he's going somewhere! I don't know where this guy is going! I'm playing- Yo, guys, I'm playing 096! Yo, this is a new update! I'm playing 096 right now! I think this guy's bugged out or something. This, this boy's bugging out! A few moments later. Okay, so uh, go to a 002, right? I'm gonna bring everyone here. Hello, motherfucker. Oh, this guy's out here again. God damn. Run from this man. He's killing everyone. Oh, I hear him. Oh, this guy's rogue now. We need 0960 comes to the helipad, bro. How hard even is this? This guy, this guy's on a rampage. He's coming. I told everyone you can look at this guy's face when you're a uh, SDP 008. Oh, he's coming! Open the door! A uh, hell no! Oh. Bring SCP-096. <gasps> okay, that was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Two seconds later. Also, wait, where's the 096 at? 
They're attempting to capture. Yeah, watch this. I'm gonna bring everyone. I'm bringing everyone. I'm bringing everyone here. <laughs> Yo, everyone is here now. Bro, that's actually so cool. You can actually bring this guy here. Oh, you know what? Wait, what? Wait, what happens? Wait, did he get recontained or something? Bring SCP-096, right? Wait, what? This SCP isn't coming. Wait, I don't think the SCP exists anymore. Wait, this SCP is missing. Bro, this guy's gone. What is next bot, please? Oh, what is that? Bro! Oh, god damn! Bro, what is this next bot? What was that? Bro, th someone said next bot and I, and I typed it. Okay, so with all the chaos and certainty updates out of the way, let's move on to the foundation teams. Mobile Task Force Beta 7 will now have high resistance to infections from SCP-008 and SCP-409. Which is great since I think it's a huge buff to the game, you know, they finally use their gas masks to put it to work, and also it just makes more sense for roleplaying purposes. The Mobile Task Force Alpha 1 perk also got a buff, their reload speed has been increased, and also they have a new perk, and basically when they're near an O5, they get a damage absorption buff. Okay, so here's a pretty big change, and it has to do with the authorization. As of now, you can no longer unauthorize the Class D unless they're at the Class D containment, or like behind the red line. I think this is really good, since it prevents authorization abuse. Another change is that they added a new site policy. This site policy allows you to reinforce the walls and vents. This means that the vent will now need 100 clicks instead of 50, and also the C force will need twice as much effort to break. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much the entire update. Of course, it's just a part one, which means we might get a part two. And let me know down below what you guys would like to see in a part two. I'm just done here. I'll see you guys next video.